Dhanaj Chauk, which is existing at the Indra Park. <coughs> From two, two decades, the government is uh, shifting the Dhanaj Chauk to the other place, and that is the outskirts of the university. What is your view? Indra Park has been named as Dharna Chowk, which depicts all platforms of democracy that any organization, they have a valid reasons, they keep up a permission to the police and have been doing democratic protests there. The same government today, which is in the rule in Telangana state today, has also conducted many dharnas there. For Telangana agitation, today, if Telangana state has become a reality, Dharna Chowk was the spinal cord, Dharna Chowk was the epicenter, it was a battleground field where we have taken up many memorable and historical moments there. Let it be raising up black balloons to the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh Ji who visited Hyderabad for the COP11 meeting. And at the same time, we would like to remember that couple of months back to uh, mark the hunger strike taken by KCR, Chief Minister himself, the same TRS party has conducted meeting there. So, today, because the oppositions are becoming stronger, the oppositions are becoming louder, the voices are reaching till the Secretariat and the buildings of KCR, and definitely there is a fear within him. To curb democracy, let it be Congress or let it be TJAC, Today TRS is afraid to face the voices of people, the, the representations of common people. So protests are happening within the heart of the city. There is no right for KCR to say that meetings or protests should happen outskirts of the city. Whereas we should remember that Congress government gave permission to all the Telangana agitations, let it be for the Million March or let it be for the Sagar Haram on the Nicholas Road. People marched into the heart of city and that revolution was the major significant result for Telangana state of today. But if the chief minister says, as he claims, that he is coming back into power again, he says that he has surveyed, he says that he has a good governance, he says that he is going to get 106 MLAs, then he, if he has these kind of reports, then why are you afraid of democratic voices? Why are you afraid of protests? So which shows that this chief minister KCR is a coward and he is speaking false lies because people are realizing that KCR and TRS government has failed Telangana and protests will happen to run away from these protests. He is trying to shift Indra Park Dharna Chowk from here, which Congress party will not tolerate. We have even requested the governor also that Dharna Chowk is a place, a landmark for protests, which Telangana has seen. Even during United Andhra Pradesh, also people from Andhra, Rayal Sima, Telangana, many other causes. Let it be students' issues, let it be youth issues, let it be farmers' issues, let it be unemployed issues, all these kind of issues, it was the uh, political issues and all these things. Today, if Dharna Chowk is removed, definitely people of Telangana will not tolerate that we can clearly understand this kind of uh, Hitler uh, rule will indicate that there is no democracy in Telangana which people of Telangana and as opposition we will not tolerate till they take back their decision. Moreover, uh, in, in our capital, India's capital Delhi itself, uh, the Dharna Chakuti which is called as Janta Mandar is very near to parliament and that is in the heart of the city. So in, in, the, in the, like this Dharna Chaks in every, every city, it, it belongs or uh, it uh, exists in the middle of the cities. So like these issues, in these issues, the uh, government, uh, government of Telangana state is involved. Do you think that this is the right thing? Our country itself is based on the pillars of democracy, of freedom of speech and expression. And that is why Delhi has a place absolutely called as Jantar Mantra, where different parts of states, all of them, side by side, you know, sometimes they were programs of Telangana, sometimes they were protests of Vidarbha, sometimes they were uh, programs of uh, Bundelkhand, all together. So, it is a hub of democracy where people have the liberty to come and put up their expressions. And today, if the government doesn't want to give such kind of voices a place, it means that the government is fearing of people, it is fearing of truth and that is why it wants to silence the voices of people and that is why it is pushing away those voices outskirts which people will not tolerate.